and welcome back to Herman's RV Holidays. I'm Adam and this is Herman. What a glorious day to wash Herman and uh, sort out his uh, fresh water tank. But I'm not going to be recording that because I thought it'd be interesting to uh, show you guys uh, all the different changes and um, uh, upgrades that we've done to Herman uh, or other people have done in Herman. So let me show you a few things and you might even get some ideas of your own. So you may remember uh, on our trip to Norfolk, this wing uh, fell off. I uh, recorded that in a previous video. Managed to get one from Heimer themselves and, it and I, have to, I also have to buy the, uh, the rubber that goes around it. But I fitted that myself and it's pretty solid and I'm pretty impressed with that. It's fairly simple, it already comes with the pre-drilled holes. I just needed to get some screws of course and line it all up with the original holes. Next on the list is the water filler plug. This kept coming out, kept falling. In fact, I lost it along the road once. Just happened to find it again, but uh, I had to replace it. This is brand new. I replaced the lock with the one that had come out of the original. I kind of had to get my Dremel to it to, to take out the, the barrel, but this, uh, this barrel is uh, the same as all the other locks on Herman, which is excellent. Didn't want a spare key or anything. So these wipers, uh, nothing special about them, of course, uh, but because this Herman's in storage for long periods of time, uh, blades can get stuck to the windscreen. So what I've done is just got some pegs to peg them off the screen. Just got to remember to take them off when you go driving. Okay, so the passenger door here, uh, I've had to take the uh, inside off quite a few times because there's a screw in the locking mechanism which keeps, keeps coming loose and that stops you from opening the door and locking it. But I think I managed to sort it out now, however in the process I broke this barrel so I had to replace that and of course just like the water filler cap, uh, that is the same lock as Herman, you can get that from Heimer. Wide angle overtaking mirrors. On the front here, we have the tow uh, bar. Uh, that is actually connected to the front beam, which goes all the way along here. This got a bit rusty all along here. Apparently it's a common thing on the Fiat Ducatos of this, of this age and model. So uh, I kind of bought another one off of eBay, I do believe. Uh, painted it up, made sure it was uh, nice and watertight and uh, got a local company to fit that for me. I couldn't get it off. On the LPG side, we've had this refillable gas low system fitted. Uh, it has a little uh, thingy there. You can see how much gas is in there. Definitely saving some money with the uh, refillable gas system. Fitted new hinges to this. And the back here, I fitted uh, one of those TV outlet things uh, so we can plug our aerial into it. It's just a freestanding air which we suck onto the window and of course we can also plug in from the, a campsite if they have television. Okay now inside uh, around the bed area there is no place to put anything like books or your glasses or anything so uh, I fitted this cargo net which is excellent. Also at night it's really dark in this area uh, and of course you can't see any watches or anything but this is our clock it's got a little light on it uh, it's just a um, bit of velcro stuck on with a bit of velcro so it's really quite handy. Okay, in one of these cupboards we have our glassware. Uh, yes, these are real glass, uh, but I'm protecting them. I made this out of a sponge. Just cut it with a bread knife, the, the, the right size for each one of the glasses, and it is perfect. No smashed glasses in here, I tell you. In the fridge we have the freezer box. Uh, this door, the hinges I've had to replace a couple of times, but it's fairly simple to do. But the hinges are so expensive. About 28 pounds for two little things. And you see me fit the AC electric socket. This is the original Heimer table. As you can see, it's quite long, quite big. And this table was made by the previous owners. And we use this one quite a lot because it uh, saves us an awful lot of room. We can walk around each other in the kitchen area. According to instructions, you're not supposed to have the table out when you're driving. Uh, they recommend putting it up here with the, where the bed is, but of course uh, we don't do that. We store them uh, both behind the passenger seat, all strapped in, nice and tight, which uh, is easy to get to. So back here in this cabinet, uh, it's normally quite dark, but well, I fitted a little micro switch here, which turns the light on and off. And now this light is, uh, I actually handmade it, it's uh, LEDs, and uh, that reminds me actually, Way back here in the kitchen area, the light above the kitchen, the sink and everything, uh, is this uh, light as well. Um, LEDs in there, super, super bright, fantastic for what we need. Also back here, uh, this area gets a bit dark. Uh, so what we've fitted here is one of these um, removable uh, battery lights. So you just uh, press the button here 
it's not always well, hardly a button. And the little LEDs come on, battery operated. Still in the back area, simple thing here, velcroed on a extension, plugged it into the only outlet that Herman had at the time. Uh, fantastic. This blind here we've had replaced. We've also had the roof lights replaced. They used to be opaque, but now they're transparent. There's one there and one in the bathroom. Makes everything a lot, 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 lot brighter. Previous owners put a little hook here for the toilet roll. I noticed in the sink that there was um, some very thin cracks. Uh, I thought they were just superficial until my uh, sister, she used to use a motorhome, and uh, she actually pushed the plug straight in through the sink um, in the bathroom. So that had to be repaired, of course. And I thought, well, rather than wait for that to break, I will check out our own sink. And indeed, the, the little hole, the little cracks, they weren't superficial, it's just very thin plastic. Uh, so I managed to patch that up before it did break. So under the sink here, we can see uh, that I, I, what I did was patch the entire area with a couple of layers of fiberglass matting, um, which it really does help, I think. It's really strengthened it. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a messy but simple job. Okay, in the wardrobe is the hot water boiler. Now a common fault with Hymers and maybe other motorhomes is that the drain plugs for the uh, boiler are actually made of plastic so in the winter if there's any water in them they actually split so i've replaced them with these uh, brass ones down here there's one there one around the back here so i hope you enjoyed my tour of herman and his upgrades if you have any upgrades or changes that you want to share with us uh, please put them in the comments below uh be happy to read those that'd be really cool um one thing i want to do before i do go is uh, in here, this is our ski locker, uh, we have a box, uh, it's not very big, uh, we keep our wine in it but of course it's not very sturdy and it kind of, uh, I need to keep replacing it, uh, we, put, we put our wine and our beer and our other bottles in there, uh, it needs to be wide enough to go, so narrow enough to go through here, uh, if you have any ideas about how we can store our wine or maybe um, uh, what type of crate we could use, um, please let us know in the comments below like usual and until next time good travels everybody and thanks for watching thanks for watching our video give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed or leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe for more video updates or maybe even watch one of our previous videos bye bye now